Kremlin concerned over Macron and Cameron's statements on Western troops and attacks on Russia. Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin's press secretary, has stated that the Kremlin was concerned about the latest statements by the French president and the UK foreign secretary regarding the possible presence of Western troops in Ukraine and UK weapons strikes on Russian Federation territory, calling them dangerous and escalating tension. Another extremely risky statement. We observe similar rhetorical escalation on the side of official representatives at the level of heads of state in France and at a more expert level in the United Kingdom, he added. The Kremlin spokesman stated that it was causing a direct escalation of tensions in the Ukraine conflict. He warned that this might pose a danger to European security, the entire architecture of European security. Here is a concerning trend of growing tensions in the official's statement that we kept track of. This makes us concerned, said Peskov. France's President Emmanuel Macron stated that he did not change his opinion on the deployment of Western troops in Ukraine. He considers such an approach correct and said that if the Russians break through the line of contact and Ukraine requests help, it is worth considering. UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron told Reuters that Ukraine has the right to use weapons provided by London to strike targets in Russia. Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Zidato has condemned the latest remarks from Emmanuel Macron about the option of sending troops to Ukraine and has warned such a move could ultimately spark an all-out nuclear war. Speaking to French broadcaster LCI, Zidato was asked for his take on Macron's renewed threat to deploy his country's troops to back up Kiev. The diplomat strongly condemned the idea, saying that the French leaders' comments themselves have contributed to escalating the situation. If a NATO member commits ground troops, it will be a direct NATO-Russia confrontation and it will then be World War III, Shidato told the broadcaster. Chinese officials say the death toll from a collapsed highway in southeastern Guangdong province rose to 48, some 24 hours after a section of the four-lane mountainous pass buckled in the wake of record rainfall and flooding, sending 23 vehicles tumbling down a steep slope with some bursting into flames. Point three people remained unidentified, pending DNA testing, according to a local official in Meizhou City. It was not immediately clear if they died, which would bring the death toll to 51. At least 30 other people had non-life-threatening injuries, the Ministry of Emergency Management has dispatched a team to the scene to guide rescue work, and has urged local efforts to accelerate search and rescue work, treat those who sustain injuries, minimize casualties, and determine the cause of the accident. The collapse occurred on one side of a four-lane highway in Meizhou, just as China kicked off a five-day holiday. For a second day, rescuers searched for trapped people by digging through mountainous terrain. Construction cranes lifted out burnt out and mangled vehicles, the National Financial Regulatory Administration has guided insurance institutions to establish a special working group for the emergency handling of such events, integrating insurance resources and open green channels, heavy rains, the risk of secondary disasters and the large number of trapped, burned and buried vehicles were complicating rescue efforts, a city official said. More than 570 people and 80 rescue vehicles have been deployed to help with the mission. Meizhou is one of the areas in southern China's Guangdong that has been overwhelmed by heavy rain since last month. The adverse weather triggered dangerous mudslides, inundated homes, and destroyed bridges, 